Hi, my name is Hannah Darlington from the Sydney Thunder and I'd like to welcome you to our online Thunder Literacy Session. At Sydney Thunder, we aim to be a love club that inspires and unites our Thunder Nation. We value reading and education through our online Thunder Literacy Program and hope to inspire young boys and girls to have a lifelong love of reading. I hope you guys enjoy the session. Today we're going to be reading How the Kangaroos Got Their Tails by George Mung Mung Limiari. I'm going to tell you a story about how the kangaroos got their tails. In the early days, in the dream time, there were two kangaroos who lived in this country. One came from the hills, the other from the plains. The plains kangaroo was a big kangaroo with long arms and long legs. The hill kangaroo was a small kangaroo with short arms and short legs. One day, the short-armed kangaroo was walking around hunting for sugar bag, which is a wild bush honey. You can find sugar bag by watching the bees and following them to their hive where they make their honey. Look, there's the bees over there. He really liked sugar bag, that short-armed kangaroo. So he kept on looking and looking until he found some in a hole in a rock. He reached just inside the hole and pulled out a handful of sugar bag and ate it. Mmm, it was good tucker. Now that big kangaroo was hungry, hungry for some sugar bag himself. He sat down next to the short arm kangaroo. Hey, what are you eating? He said. I'm eating sugar bag, said the short arm kangaroo. You've got long arms. You can reach right down and get some too. So that big kangaroo put his long arm deep into the hole and pulled out a handful of spiders. No. Try again, said the short arm kangaroo. Pull your arm right down into the hole. That's where the sugar bag is. So the big kangaroo put his hand into the hole again, but only pulled out more spiders. The short arm kangaroo kept reaching just inside the hole and pulling out more and more sugar bag. Pretty soon, he'd eaten it all himself. The big kangaroo was wild. That short arm kangaroo had tricked him. He went over to a white gum tree and broke off a big stick. So there's the tree. The short arm kangaroo thought he'd better get a stick too. He went and broke one off a red bloodwood tree. Just over there. Uh-oh. And they started to fight. They hit each other over the head with those sticks until the big kangaroo ran away. Well, that short arm kangaroo threw his stick and stuck it right into the back of the can right into the big kangaroo. That made the big kangaroo even more wild. So he turned around and threw his stick. It stuck right into the short arm kangaroo. Then they each hopped away back to their own country. The big kangaroo went back to the low country where the sugar grass grows and the short arm kangaroo hopped away up into the hills. I am a sugar grass country man now, said that big red plains kangaroo. I will live here forever. And I am a bolder country man, that short arm kangaroo said. I will live in the hills amongst the boulders and spin effects. And they are still there today. When you see them, you will know how they got their tails. Thank you for tuning in to our online Thunder Literacy Program. We really hope you enjoyed it and keep an eye out for our next session. Happy reading, Thunder Nation.